My name is Frank King. I am a fellow in computer science at Churchill College here in Cambridge and I'm now retired but for 40 years I have been the University of Bellringham. I spend most of my time nowadays uh, designing and consulting about sundials. My name's Kate Fife. I'm a consultant clinical oncologist and I work at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. My specialisms are kidney cancer and skin cancer. Early in 2013, January or February, um, I noticed a uh, froth in my urine when I first went to the loo each morning and went to the doctor who said, yes, you've got microscopic spots of blood in the urine. And my urine was sent off um, to Addenbrooke to be tested, but somehow the results got lost and nothing happened uh, for another few months when it was decided that I should have more tests and a malignant mass was discovered on my right kidney. In September 2013, I had my right kidney removed uh, and then a few weeks later, I had a follow-up scan uh, and this showed secondaries in the lungs. I first became aware of Frank in early 2014. At that time, he'd had some very small nodules in his lungs, which were thought to be secondary cancer. We don't normally treat these straight away. We keep things under surveillance to see if they're going to grow. By January 2014, they had started to grow, and so he was referred to me. I was in the care of the oncology department in Adderbrooks, and this is when I first met uh, Dr. Kate Fife. Within a few months, um, the lung secondaries had grown further, and he'd also developed another area of secondary tumour in the inferior vena cava, which is a big blood vessel in the abdomen. The progression had been sufficiently far uh, that it was decided to put me on proper treatment. Our first choice of treatment was pazopanib. It has a number of side effects, including soreness of the mouth, soreness of the hands and feet, fatigue, diarrhoea, and it can interfere with blood tests, particularly liver blood tests. However, once patients are established on it, it's generally a reasonably well-tolerated drug. So we started, Frank, on the full dose of pazopanib in um, August 2014. This undoubtedly is a very effective drug at treating kidney cancer. Unfortunately, uh, within a couple of weeks, I was suffering uh, serious tiredness, and so the dose was reduced from full dose to three-quarter dose. Uh, and I felt decidedly better uh, until I noticed the most enormous bruise on my left leg, which extended from the tip of the toes right up um, almost to my knee. I went to see my GP about this, uh, who said, you've got a liver malfunction. We did liver tests on him, but these were all normal, so we were, knew it, it was just a drug effect. So I had to stop that treatment immediately uh, while my liver recovered. Fortunately, even in the brief period I'd been on pazopanib, barely one calendar month, um, it had started to do its trick uh, and the tumours decidedly shrunk a little. By January 2015, the cancer was again starting to progress. In January 2015, therefore, we put him on a different drug called sunitinib. I found this much more to my liking than pazopanib, although it did do nasty things to my platelet levels, so the dose was uh, reduced to half dose and I tolerated that extremely well. And then in late June, I was increased back to three quarter dose, and this time without any effect on my platelets, and I continued at three quarter dose uh, until the end of the year, end of 2015. Uh, but by then the tumours had been progressing, and so it was decided to increase the dose to full dose. And I certainly uh, didn't respond well to that. Soon he became very unwell, very fatigued, um, slightly drowsy, and he was admitted to hospital. I had very nasty side effects. I had uh, low sodium in my blood, uh, and I felt quite dreadful. I was in hospital for um, six days as an emergency oncology admission, uh, and I did very, very slowly recover, uh, but only after completely stopping um, 
In February 2016, Frank had recovered well enough for us to put him on some more treatment. We would normally have used the second line uh, drug called axitinib, which is a similar class of drugs to sinitinib and pazopinib. This is a very good drug. However, Frank had obviously had very severe side effects to both the previous tyrosine kinase inhibitor drugs. We were very lucky at that point that we had access to a new immunotherapy drug called nivolumab. I went along to my regular uh, clinic visit expecting to be given the go-ahead to go on to axitinib, uh, but quite unexpectedly the person I saw suggested uh, that by good luck uh, there had been um, made available a quite different form of drug, um, an immunotherapy treatment, and the drug was called uh, nivolumab, which was primarily uh, supposed to be for treating melanoma, uh, but it was being used um, on kidney cancer as well, but not through the NHS. And the drug company that manufactures it, um, Bristol Myers Squibb, uh, decided that they would fund uh, a few patients on nivolumab for treating uh, kidney cancer uh, in the hopes that uh, they would get further results from this. This is given um, as an infusion every two weeks until progression. Now it tends to be much better tolerated than the other drugs and in fact he's felt much better than he ever did on either of his previous medications. Nivolumab is the first in a new generation of immunotherapy drugs for kidney cancer. It works in a very different way to the other tyrosine kinase inhibitor drugs and its side effects are very different as well. Most patients tolerate it quite well, although they can get um, sort of allergic type reactions, fever type reactions and also fatigue. It can however cause inflammation of other organs of the body via an autoimmune type process and this can affect any organ of the body. It can affect hormone levels, can affect the liver, lungs, skin, kidney and these reactions need to be treated with high doses of steroids and the drugs, the nivolumab needs to be stopped for a period of time while these reactions are got under control. Fortunately severe reactions to nivolumab are quite uncommon and most patients, the majority of patients tolerate it very well. Nivolumab works by getting the body's own immune system to attack their own cancer. It stops an interaction between the cancer cell and the white blood cell. Normally the cancer cells are able to suppress the white blood cells and therefore suppress the immune response to the kidney cancer. However, nivolumab stops that suppression and therefore the white blood cells are able to recognise the kidney cancer and to shrink it down and kill it off. I've been on that now for nearly four months and I get fortnightly infusions and I've really had no side effects at all. But and the good news is that at my first follow-up scan after starting nivolumab, uh, the tumour tumors had all shrunk, some of them very significantly. Uh, one of the tumours had gone down to almost a third of the size it had been before the treatment started. So I'm very happy to be on nivolumab. Thank you.